Okay, so I know that I've always said make sure that you are warm before you do any type of strength training workout. I'm still sticking to that narrative, of course, but I have actually incorporated a more dynamic movement prior to strength after I warmed up. Um, and wow, has it ever made a huge difference. Uh, most of you know I've been dealing with a lot of aches and pains over the last year. And these types of things have saved me from needing to take time off. So I can get out of bed, I can start my backwards walking on the treadmill as my warm up. I can get off the warm up, I still feel better, but I, I still, even after all of that, don't feel quite prepared, ready for a strength session. So this is what I've incorporated into the workout. I would actually encourage all of you to do it, whether you're young, my age or older, even if you don't feel aches and pain. I do truly believe that if we are more pro proactive versus reactive like I've been, we will be much better off. So I kind of listen to my body and manipulate myself accordingly. Your body speaks to you, so be sure to listen to that. I'm going to walk you through it a little bit and then I'm gonna do the other side without any talking and then you can kind of hopefully see the flow. So I listen to my body and then, like I said, I manipulate and work differently as I feel like I need to. Every day is a little bit different. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to start in this position, okay? So my knee is a little bit before the toe. I will transition into a deeper lunge, but to start, I like to just kind of get the body moving. So this is after my warm up, before a strength training session. So I like to dig into it a little bit forward. Okay, and then I take this arm and open up the knee. So everything should be straight. Don't hyperextend, don't tuck your chin. Place the other hand down on the ground and open up that hip. So this is gonna open up your hips, your shoulders, your neck. Look over that shoulder, breathe. And then look the other way, all about kind of pushing here. And then switch again, listening to your body. Then I put the right hand down, so my leg right foot is down. And this is where I get a little bit deeper into the, the stretch. You might want to extend your leg forward, listen to your body, and hold. So I'm going to feel this right in that groin area, which is extremely tight. This might be good for some of you, others, might want to open up the shoulder a bit. Hold. Breathe. Come down slowly. Okay, please move slowly. And then we're going to get the hamstring. Stretch, flex the foot. Maybe tilt, tilt the toe in a little bit, all while flexing. And then maybe manipulate a little bit. I can feel this all the way up the left side of my lower back. Okay, you can keep square and relax it, or you can move a little deeper with the rotation, all while listening to what your body is wanting for that day. And then I like to go a little bit deeper into the stretch. And repeat. Second round will hopefully feel easier. Breathe. Down slowly, please move slowly. And one more in our hamstring. And then I'm going to open up for that lower back stretch. Feels so good. And then the last, bring this foot in. Tuck your pelvis in. Raise your hands so they're like this. Okay? And hold. Left foot is cramping. So no, no, just don't do this with my toe here. Don't do this. I just had a cramp there. So hold it here. Tuck in that pelvis, still cramping. So I'm just going to stretch out that heel. Okay? Dehydrated, obviously. And then I'm going to manipulate. 
Okay, so just to show you at this angle, I really feel tight in here. Okay, so as I'm dropping my hip forward, I'm then going to manipulate. So twisting towards that right leg. Amazing. All while getting that front hip. Look at my hands. Think tall, right? Think tall and then manipulate if you want to. I'm driving this hip forward, so I feel an incredibly beautiful stretch in here and in here. And then move into it slowly or out of it slowly. I'll repeat on the other side with no talking. I'm pushing that knee out. Every side is different, right? So it may not look the exact same. Just concentrate on your breath and what your body on this side is telling you what it needs. Okay, so you're, you're spending some time focusing on you and your body, nothing else. I can feel my lower back crackling. That is a good thing. It's decompressing. And as a result, I will be able to do my lifts with a lot of less discomfort. It makes a massive difference. It takes a little bit of extra time, but such is life. centralize everything. Calves, my calves are so tight and I know that this is a direct correlation as to why my lower back bothers me. Usually if your lower back is tight it has very little to do with your back and more to do with hips, glutes, and often calves. So stretch them. Breathe. And then this is one of my new favorite exercises to do. Again, I just feel my back decompressing. Breathe. Oh, amazing. I don't know if you can hear my back, but it's literally popping. It's like pop, pop, pop. You're welcome, body. I love you. I want you to perform and be there for me until my 70s and 80s, and I know that this is what it's going to require. <sighs> 